wild times. Yeah, I mean, you're talking a time span of like thousands and millions of years that things are evening out over that right. course, you know? So. Exactly. exactly. I was wondering this. So, you know, I have a dog. She's two, Luca. Yep, uh, Luca de Luca. I've had cats my whole life. This is my first dog. And I, I know because I have tons of friends with dogs. Like dogs just tend to be, um, they tend to just need to go to the vet way more often than cats. I mean, <laughs> you know, a cat, yeah. like you get a cat spayed or neutered and then it's like, Cause they're it goes stupid. to the vet to be put down 25 years later. Like, <laughs> they're, they're very stout creatures. True. Whereas yeah, dogs true. have all sorts of shit. They're always getting skin rashes or teeth fall out. They're yep. just, yep. they don't, they, and they obviously tend to not live as long. Some small breeds live, live really long. And so I was like, okay, is it because we interfered so much in inbred domestic dogs so much that we created problems but then I was reading about this wolf pack in, in Yellowstone that was like the super dominant pack. And they all got mange one year and scratched all their fur off. And then they... Winter came. <laughs> winter came. They had all these bald spots. And so they couldn't lay down to sleep. So they didn't sleep. Mm -hmm. So there was like this zombie pack and they all got overtaken. So I'm like, are, ca are canids or canines maybe just less like adept at survival. Like uh, it's just weird to me that the dogs tend to have so many problems. That's an interesting question. It's a stupid way of asking the question, but I'm just, like, I, I get what your question is. is. I, I don't know the answer. And in fact, someone we should have on the pod, this chick, Annika, I don't know if you guys know who she is. She's like the canine expert. She done dog rescues forever. And I think she's, on. Awesome. I'd love to have her on. She's awesome. She's like, I think she's on like one of the, like PBS Saturday morning type things where she do, does her dog show stuff. But she knows everything about wolf evolution, dogs, dog evolution. Like, yeah, let's you know, why, why your pug has a smashed up nasty face and like what all <laughs> the problems it created. And like, I sure. mean, she's really knowledgeable on that stuff. I don't know the answer. It's an interesting observation. I'd be curious to pose that to her. I should get her on the pod. Well, yeah. I mean, you look at, you look at, uh, I just mentioned that my in-laws have two Shih Tzus. Like Shih Tzus were, I don't know where I heard this. It could have been New Forest or somewhere else, but Shih Tzus were basically bred just to be pets. Like they were, they're literally like useless. All they do is look Boy at category. you with love so that you'll yeah. give it food. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it works so well, dude. I mean, but it's like they, so this dog was bred for this specific thing just to be a, you know, to be a, a, a meat sack well, pet the, and then die. Twofold. So they, were, they were bred in the Imperial Chinese court. Uh, I don't know what time period, but they were bred to to essentially sit around and, and be fun companions, but also to bark at uh, strangers, it's, right? It's so exactly, they're, they're barky yeah. dogs, and they were specifically bred for the that they would bark to alert someone so coming they do near have the emperor's. So yeah. they do have a purpose. I it's love those dogs, alarm, by man. the way. And that's yeah. all they do is bark when you come in and then fucking chill and get pet. It's great. If you're... My my dog, who's not a Shih Tzu, he's a Havanese, Hoover. which were bred to be. Um, they were basically Cuban boat dogs, and they weren't really boat dogs. They were more like lap Cuban lap dogs that went on boats. But um, mm -hmm. his awesome little dog, he loves to go for runs Love with him. me. I was just I was just riding my electric board around, getting comfortable on it this afternoon, and he was cruising behind me up and down the trails. It was super fun, and um, he. His only job, as far as he is concerned, is to protect the house. Now, okay. the only way that he can do that is to be a yappy little shit when somebody <laughs> enters the house. And of right. course, you know, a hundred times out of a hundred, it's a friend. So right. your friend comes in the door, barges in. You've been texting with him or calling him. Your dog doesn't fucking know. <laughs> then he gets in and Hoover's like, Rawr! you know, he's like a yappy little shit. And he's like, this is my only job is to alert you humans and you, the people that I love, that there is an intruder here. You know, he doesn't yeah. know whether it's friend or foe. And he takes that job very seriously. Right. It's funny because we <laughs> shout at him every time. We're like, shut up, Hoover, you know, and like tell him to be quiet. He's yeah, like, that's fine. I'll get him next time. But, uh, you know, he's just like he takes that job very, very seriously. And it's good. I mean, I think it's good for a dog to have purpose like that. Yeah, it's interesting because Hoover does that. My dog does it. Who's another small dog. And then my in-laws dog does it. But Pat... Your dog doesn't really bark too much when you come in. He just kind of runs right up. And, like, oh. if I was an intruder, I would be fucking terrified of Luca. <laughs> uh, Luca's Dude, a much more intimidating animal. Luca's very, very scary when you're outside the house, right? If, if you're right. lingering outside, she freaks the fuck out, barks, growls. As soon as you come in the door, wants to lick your face. Right. <laughs> so right. if the intruder's outside, 
they're, they're, they're in might be scared. Once they come in, they're petting her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's a good, good pup. German Shepherds, man. Fucking great dogs. I got to get a big dog next, next dog I get. My son yeah, needs and, to grow and, up with a big dog. And by the way, if Luca decided to defend the home, which she probably would if somebody broke in in the night, because she'd probably know the difference. Yeah. That person would be in big trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 70 pound dog is just, you're not doing that fucking yeah. thing. Fuck no, yeah. dude. Wild time. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards, video breakdowns and reviews, check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.